Hi class! This is Dr. Geiger. I just thought I would do kind of an introduction video to the course. Um, you'll see another video in the introduction discussion board where I'll, I'll introduce myself a little bit more in terms of you know who I am and my interests and my research area of study and things like that but the purpose of this video is just to kind of highlight a few important things to keep in mind as we go through the course. Um, then in about a week and a half or so, about about halfway through the course, I'll post another video sort of updating you on the progress of everybody and any other things I've noticed that you know would be helpful for you maybe to keep in mind as you finish out the course. As you know, this is a very abbreviated um, Sorry, I'm trying to get the glare off my glasses, but I don't know if I can. Um, this is a very abbreviated course, this intercession format. So it's crucial that um, you, you really stay on top of things, stay with the deadlines. That being said, the way the course is set up, and some of you who've taken other classes with me will already be familiar with this, but the way the course is set up, it is not entirely self-paced, but as self-paced as I feel comfortable making it. Um, so you have a lot of flexibility, but you, there's also a danger that goes with that, that, you know, you may put things off and wait till the last second. So really it's up to you. I mean, you can do that. You can wait till the last second. Um, I wouldn't recommend that, but, or you can finish the course in one week if you wanted to. I mean, again, I'm not sure I would recommend that, but you do have flexibility in how rapidly or slowly you travel through the course. I do recommend that you go in order, although everything is open for you um, from the first moment that the course is open. So there are two deadlines for the course. So there's kind of a midterm deadline, um, and you'll have to read the syllabus carefully to put some details on what I'm saying. Um, but there's a, a deadline sort of in the middle of the course and then one at the very end. Now, I've given you till the very end of the course, um, June 15th, to finish the, the latter part of the materials. Um, but just know then that because I'm giving you till the very end to submit materials, you'll have to probably wait a little bit for me to get all the grading done. I feel like it's more important to give you that time because the course is already so short. Um, I mean, I definitely will have the grading done, I would say, within one to two weeks after the end of the course. I actually have until the end of the regular summer term to have the grading done, but I don't I always get it done as quickly as possible. I'm not going to make you wait till the end of summer to get your grades. I, on a personal note, um, just had a baby about eight days ago. So that's okay. I love teaching this course and I'm, I, I really wanted to teach it. Um, but, and I don't think the birth of my child will affect anything um but I'm just letting you know that just in case like I don't know like if you see like spit up on my shirt in my next video or something <laughs> or if just anything should come up um you know that that would affect my reply time to your emails or anything like that that just gives you a little bit of context I am sort of still adjusting to to having a, a newborn again. I think that's all I want to say in terms of overview of the course. I, I advise you to read the syllabus really carefully. Um, it goes through a little bit of explanation about various components of the course. The discussion boards, for example, you'll need to have an original and a response post for each of the discussion boards. That's not uncommon. You've probably had to do that in other classes. Another thing about the discussion boards to keep in mind is that you're going to have to post your original post before you can see anybody else's posts. So you really will have to do the reading. You'll have to do 
whatever legwork goes into that particular discussion board before you can see do your response post so that's an, again a reason not to leave things till the very end because you can't just kind of I'll just say it BS your way through the discussion boards <laughs> you're gonna have to have some original thought um, you should be thorough you should make it clear that you've done the reading or watched the film or whatever it is that you need to have done um, the deadlines are hard and fast because you have so much flexibility and ample time before each of the two deadlines to submit things so I really hold fast to the deadlines I don't accept any late assignments unless there's a true true emergency and even then in this type of format you know you really shouldn't be waiting up until the last second so if you wait till the last second and you have submitted nothing and you miss the de a deadline and you have had an emergency, well, you know, let me know. We'll talk about it and we'll figure something out. But you really should be submitting things earlier than, you know, the 11th hour regardless. So um, contact me earlier rather than later. If you have any questions, I'm very responsive. I'm, I'd rather hear from you. Like if there's any uncertainty so that we can set it straight and maybe clarify it for the rest of the class too. Um, you can do that via email. You can do that via the discussion board that's called Q&A discussion board. That's where anybody can post a question. A classmate can answer it. If a classmate doesn't answer it, I'll answer it. But let's just keep in touch so that nobody falls behind. Um, well, now I said I was done and then I went on and said a bunch more things. So <coughs> I think I'll really be done now. Um, and good luck in the course. I am very passionate about this topic area and I hope to incite some passion in all of you as well. It's a really cool field of subfield of public health um, and I'm excited to take you through some of it. So take care and I'll see you online.